So I really hope that this construction that I just built around my phone is working properly. Um, and also I'm filming inside my closet um, because there is no lighting outside. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Venya and today I want to talk to you about a topic that I've not seen um, on YouTube a lot. Some people have covered it from time to time, but not, no one really talks about it. And that topic is what to do after you're done decluttering. So I've been going down this like minimalist path for I don't know, one, one and a half years now, so not too long, but I think enough to gain some experience on what it's like to be aware of what you buy, what you have and what you get rid of. So I did a few um, kind, of, kind of decluttering rounds um, using different methods of decluttering, like I played the, tried to play the minimalism game. Um, then I did the KonMari method, the like um, what I didn't use in 90 days kind of method method and what else there is out there I think I've tried it all but um, right now I feel like I'm done like I'm done with decluttering when I look around my room of course there are still a lot of things in my room and um, there are not necessarily things that I really need in my life but there are all things that add a lot of value to my life so I really do not want to let them go so I stopped decluttering Whenever I try to go through my stuff and see what else there is that I can like throw away, give away, I find nothing. <laughs> um, of course, there are the odd bits and bobs that I do not need anymore, but there is really no systematic decluttering anymore. That is just because I am really satisfied with all the stuff that I have at the moment and I don't want to get rid of anything else because either I need it or I do I I don't know there is it's not the right time to get rid of something like I would love to declutter my closet and get rid of some of the clothes and maybe bring some new new ones or second hand ones in just to make like kind of create a new or improved wardrobe but um there is just not the money to do that and um so I really do not feel like spending money on something that I basically already have. Yesterday I decluttered some things, I still found some things that I really don't need anymore, but they have no system. Like I do not go through my wardrobe anymore and declutter clothes or go through my um, other cupboards and declutter like, um, I don't know, writing materials and stuff or pens. Um, it's just random bits and bobs that I it's just random things that I find in random corners of my room. I didn't know they existed. So what am I doing now? Of course, I'm still aware that I have more things than I really need or want, but I am not willing to throw those things away or give them away because I know that I can get some use out of them. For example, wrapping paper. This is one of the things that annoys me the most. Wrapped in plastic. I don't really need it. Like I give presents in different ways now. I use like reusable bags and um, like c fabric to wrap my presents. So I don't really need this, but at the same time, why throw this away and waste it? So I am at the stage of using up, <laughs> which I would suggest comes after minimizing your whole thing. Um, after getting rid of all the things that you do not need, I suggest you start using up your things because you will still kind of step by step minimize all your things or minimize your possessions, but at the same time, you do not just throw them away. Okay, I, I don't know, I didn't prepare this video, I just wanted to share this message with you that of course there has to be kind of a stop to minimalism because you can't just keep on going um, until you don't have anything left or you convince yourself that getting rid of things that you like and want and enjoy just because you're a minimalist is a, re is a good thing. So I, d I don't suggest that but if you feel like you are at a point where you don't know what to do anymore I would suggest to start um, de like using up your things as a whole. Another thing that I'm using up is like old bathroom products like 
hand creams or um I don't know there's just the closet is in front of me so there's there's so many things like old makeup and yeah just things like that that you do not really enjoy anymore or don't need anymore but that are too expensive precious or just valuable to to give them away it is another kind of minimizing but it is still reducing all the things you have yeah i think that is all that i wanted to say really this is going to be a really short video now i'm just going to show you um what i decluttered like my little the little things that i still found warning they're just random things that you will probably say what kind of crap are you keeping in your room but yeah these are just things that i thought i would need or use but i really didn't so let me show them to you so first of all i've got these like antique looking <laughs> folders that i picked up from a free bookshelf there are two more there and uh, i really don't need them they're from 19 um, 95 and I thought that would be interesting to re reach read and I thought that would be interesting to read through but to be honest I I'll probably never look at them and I already know a place where to bring them and see if they want it then I've got some old books and papers that I am decluttering I look through these these are just like old notes that I don't need anymore then I've got some plastic containers which I thought I'd reuse for my zero waste shopping but I have enough containers some um, iron and vitamins and two we, I call them tea socks so you put your tea in them and um, they're a bit gross <laughs> so I'm gonna let them go then I've got this um, bicycle basket which I picked up from the trash basically someone threw it away and I thought I'd put it on my bicycle and it's, it's in it's in quite good condition like I would use it but then I realized I don't want it <laughs> because I have a bag that I can clip onto my saddle then I've got this skateboard similar story to this one I picked it up from the trash and I thought why is someone throwing away a skateboard I could le learn how to skate guess what I didn't and then last but not least, I had this piece of wood, um, which I used for something for um, my classes. And now I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to declutter this as well. So you see, it's just like random things. And while I am not consciously decluttering anymore, I am trying to use things up and that way minimize my belongings as well. Good things to start are... Um, toiletries or like bathroom articles whatever you want to call them bathroom items then wrapping paper and like gift wrap the the not the you know the bands that you put make into bows and pretty little things to put on your presents um what else can i think of just stuff like old notebooks and pens that are still working and you just want to use them up to make some space in your drawers um or clothes that you just want to wear out to throw them away in a year or two yeah so that is it from me i hope you enjoyed this little tour and this wasn't like too confusing <laughs> as i said i re didn't really plan this out and i just wanted to make another video and get something like off my mind that i was like thinking about at the moment and yeah i will of course continue to do videos on minimalism as well but at the moment as you can see there is nothing to minimize really maybe i'll branch out a little bit and try to minimize other people's flats or rooms or belongings that would be a fun thing to do but until then i hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one bye